Hi, this is Samir from Baskan. In my last video, I presented my views on uh, CFP certification and its importance. Today, I'm going to discuss more about uh, CFPS examination. First of all, the eligibility criteria. For bachelor's degree in engineering or technology will require two years of experience in fire protection field. Associate degree will require four years of experience. And if you have a high school diploma, it will require six years of experience. It is an open book examination and the course book provided for this certification is the 20th edition of the Fire Production Handbook Volume 1 and 2. When you will order these books from NFPA, you will also get some permanent tabs with it which can be used to highlight various sections of the Fire Production Handbook and this will help you during the examination. It is a computer based examination and it consists of 100 MCQs and you require 70% to achieve this certification. NFP has provided a weightage of various sections in the form of blueprint which can be downloaded from the NFP website. And it also contains CFPS handbook which will have your application form, retest form and two certification forms. Once approval comes from NFP allowing you to sit for the examination, you will have three attempts to pass within a year from the date of approval. So we need to focus and be completely prepared so that we can go through in the first attempt. And yes, it is possible. After passing the examination and attaining CFP certification, it will be required to pay fees for renewal after every year. And at the end of three years term, we need to submit PDUs by providing uh, trainings, conferences, and even if you are working in a fire protection field, an experience letter from an organization will be an added advantage. So this is it for today. For trainings and videos, you can always contact us on the details provided at the end of this video. Have a nice day. Take care.